Kasaya Sanskrit, Kasaya, Pali, Kasava, Sinhalese, Chinese, Jia Sha Pinyin, Jiasha, Korean, Gasa Gasa, Vietnamese, Ka Sa, Tibetan, Thl, Chogo are the robes of fully ordained Buddhist monks and nuns, named after a brown or saffron dye. In Sanskrit and Pali, these robes are also given the more general term Savara, which references the robes without regard to color. Origin and construction Buddhist kasaya are said to have originated in India as set of robes for the devotees of Gautama Buddha. A notable variant has a pattern reminiscent of an Asian rice field. Original kasaya were constructed of discarded fabric. These were stitched together to form three rectangular pieces of cloth, which were then fitted over the body in a specific manner. The three main pieces of cloth are the antarvasa, the uttarasanga, and the samgati. Together they form the triple robe, or tisavara. The tisavara is described more fully in the Theravada Vinaya Vin 1 to <laughs> Antarvasa Antarvasaka. The antarvasa is the inner robe covering the lower body. It is the undergarment that flows underneath the other layers of clothing. It has a large top, and almost entirely covers the torso. In representations of the Buddha, the bottom of the antarvasa usually protrudes, and appears in the rough shape of a triangle. This garment is essentially a skirt, which was common enough as ancient menswear. When needed, its height could be adjusted so it did not hang as low as the ankles. Uttarasanga A robe covering the upper body. It comes over the undergarment, or antarvasa. In representations of the Buddha, the Uttarasanga rarely appears as the uppermost garment, since it is often covered by the outer robe, or samgati. <laughs> samgati The samgati is a double layers robe of bhikkhus or bhikkhunis used as an outer cloak for various occasions. It comes over the upper robe Uttarasanga, and the undergarment antarvasa. In representations of the Buddha, the samgati is usually the most visible garment, with the undergarment or Uttarasanga protruding at the bottom. It is quite similar in shape to the Greek himation, and its shape and folds have been treated in Greek style in the Greco-Buddhist art of Gandhara. Topic. Additions Other items that may have been worn with the triple robe were A waist cloth, the kushalaka A buckled belt, the samakiksika Indian Buddhism In India, variations of the kasaya robe distinguished different types of monastics. These represented the different schools that they belonged to, and their robes ranged widely from red and ochre, to blue and black. Between 148 and 170 CE, the Parthian monk Anshigao came to China and translated a work which describes the color of monastic robes used in five major Indian Buddhist sects, called Da Bichu Sanchian Yi. Ch. Da Bai Chu San Qian Wei. Another text translated at a later date, the Sariputra Paraparsha, contains a very similar passage corroborating this information, but the colors for the Sarvastivada and Dharmaguptaka sects are reversed. In traditions of Tibetan Buddhism, which follow the Mulasarvastivada Vinaya, red robes are regarded as characteristic of the Mulasarvastivadins. According to Dujam Jigdral Yeshe Dorje, the robes of fully ordained Mahasamgika monastics were to be sewn out of more than seven but no more than twenty-three sections. The symbols sewn on the robes were the endless knot SKT, Shravasta, and the conch SKT, Sankha, two of the Astamangala, auspicious symbols in Buddhism. Jiasha in Chinese Buddhism In Chinese Buddhism, the kasaya is called jiasha ch. Jiasha. During the early period of Chinese Buddhism, the most common color was red. Later, the color of the robes came to serve as a way to distinguish monastics, just as they did in India. However, the colors of a Chinese Buddhist monastic's robes often corresponded to their geographical region rather than to any specific schools. 
By the maturation of Chinese Buddhism, only the Dharmaguptaka ordination lineage was still in use, and therefore the color of robes served no useful purpose as a designation for sects, the way that it had in India. During the Tang dynasty, Chinese Buddhist monastics typically wore grayish black robes, and were even colloquially referred to as zi, zi those of the black robes. However, the Song dynasty monk Zanning CE writes that during the earlier Han Wei period, the Chinese monks typically wore red. <laughs> Kesa in Japanese Buddhism In Japan, the Kesaya is called Kesa. Ja. During the Edo and Meiji periods, Kesa were even sometimes pieced together from robes used in no. 